everybody for coming down um, to join us to celebrate one of our, I'm not supposed to say this, favorite students, hey. Smiley Nate, Nathaniel Tejada. We want to welcome Nate's family to, for joining us as well. Um, I'd like to thank Ms. Dottie Odin for being here, representing the school board and our district office staff. And we're just going to have a few people who are going to speak very briefly, and then we are going to unveil Smiley's wish. So I'm going to turn it over to Ann Vermette from Make-A-Wish Foundation. Hi. Is this on? It's on. Speak up. Hi. My name is Ann Vermette, and myself and Linda Pearson are Smiley's wish granters. We are so thrilled to welcome everyone here this afternoon for this monumentous event. Back in the spring of 2019, we first met Smiley and we talked about his wish. Wow. Smiley's wish was to redo the Nashua South weight and training room. What a remarkable and unselfish young man to leave a legacy for his future schoolmates. Wanting to do something so giving that would have no direct benefit on him as he was graduating shortly blew us away. Both Linda and I were so impressed by his outgoing and cheery personality when faced with this tough diagnosis. There was no doubt in our minds that Smiley was going to win this match against a tough opponent. I remember as we were finishing up at Smiley's house, he asked a question and he said, do you get paid for this? And Linda and I said, no, we're volunteers. And he said, can I give you a hug? And we said, you can give us a hug anytime. So Smiley had asked his wish to be completed for, before his graduation. But all good things come to those who wait. So to have all the donations and these great volunteers come together and give of their time, expertise, and materials did take a little while. But as you all will be able to see in a couple minutes, what a great result. This wish was made possible by donations from several companies. Rutland Manor, Dynamic Strength and Conditioning, Max Wraps, Lynch's Landscaping, Home Theater Simplified, and hardworking volunteers who gave of their time. I would like to thank the volunteers from CrossFit, Amiskeg, Stevens Landscaping, the Make-A-Wish team, Lisa Gingrass, Scott Knight, and the Nashua South staff. So Smiley, on behalf of Make-A-Wish and all the volunteers and staff here at Nashua South, we wish you all the best in your college career, great health and happiness to you and your family. And we have this plaque from Make-A-Wish that will hang in the Nashua South room. And it's a dedicated in honor of Nathaniel Tejeda, established 2020 Make-A-Wish, New Hampshire. While he was here at South, just to say a few words. So we're going to start with head coach Scott Knight. Yes, sir. You got to use this. Scott. Is this good? Yep. Yeah. Is that okay. I'm going to make this real brief. Uh, I still remember the day Smiley came in my office last spring and said, "Coach, do you know I get a I get this Make a Wish?" And uh, we he pulled up a video on YouTube and showed me this this weight room uh, out west of a, of a high school. And uh, like, sure you want to do this? You don't want to like maybe go to Hawaii or somewhere? But he, he, that's, that's what makes him so unique. He's one of the most caring, genuine people I've ever been around. And uh, to, 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 for a kid that was gonna go on to college and not get to really be a part of this, this, was, this is for, for you guys. And that just, you know, the, the this guy is a community service, and we talk about that. This, this was going on long before this, okay? And uh, if, if, if you want to take a page out of his book, like, that's the guy, okay? He's a really special, special person, and we can't thank him enough. And all the uh, Make-A-Wish people and everybody else that helped, your spouses and, and families that were here over the last couple of weeks, we can't thank you enough. Thanks. Thanks, guys. 
Thank you for coming. When I'm trying to describe this young man, sometimes I have a hard time, so I figured I would just read you the text message he sent me when he found out he was diagnosed with lymphoma. What's up, Mr. Coach? I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that I've been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's a tumor that's in my lymph nodes and kind of press on my lungs and my heart. I guess, it's had a, I guess I've had it for a while now. It also means no baseball. The good news is that we found it early and it's totally curable. I start chemo tomorrow, and if everything goes right, I'll be Gucci in four to six months. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm doing good. I've decided that I will wrestle next year after treatment, where I go is between Springfield and Plymouth. It's true Springfield, obviously. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know and update you on what's going on. Thought it would be better that you've heard it from me first. Also, I still think I can manage and sell gold cards. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we could have some money. Hashtag 12 season athlete. So the reason why I wanted to read this to you guys is because this is the only way I can describe him. He just got a cancer diagnosis and he's text messaging me telling me he's going to be Gucci in four to six months. Most people, this would totally deflate them. They'd be down, keep their head down, but no, not you. And then he also reminded me often that when he was going through chemo, that he had more hair than I did. <laughs> but this is just, your legacy is going to live forever through you. So this is a great job. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Nathaniel was a kid that had never ever wrestled before, and I was able to con him into coming and wrestling for us uh, as a freshman. Um, he, you know, he's a kid that he will do whatever you ask of him. He's going to work hard every single day, and just a tremendous teammate, tremendous competitor, and he's just a great young man. And this is Smiley to a T. So. On behalf of everybody, thank you. Thank you. Next, I ask Coach Maz to say a few words on behalf of all of National South Athletics. Thank you, and first of all, thank you to the man of honor here. Smiley, we can't thank you enough for this. This is arguably the most selfless act anyone could ever imagine. And speaking for the Student athletes of National South, we cannot thank you enough. And our hope and our goal in your honor is that this becomes the hub of National South Athletics. We want everyone using this. This isn't just for football or wrestling or basketball or baseball. We would love to see golfers here, skiers, swimmers. We want everyone using this weight room because when you walk through that door, you're going to understand why. Kids who go off-site and pay money to go to fitness places or have trainers, we have the best weight room in the state, and we just hope that it is utilized and lives up to the potential that it is. And we can't thank you enough. We want to thank all the volunteers and everyone who made this possible. This is an amazing event, and it's all because of you. Thank you very much. For those of you who can't see the sign above the weight room, it says more than just a wish, it's my opportunity to give back. We're going to give Smiley the scissors and let him cut the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> 